Uh, I just want to very quickly understand, Nathiri, how are you staying in the game? How are you uh, being competitive at a time when I would imagine uh, that a lot of your competitors, and I'll spell out, uh, you know, TCS, uh, Enforcers, uh, Tech Mahindra, would all be fighting to gain more market share uh, and add more clients uh, to bring more deals in. Uh, how do you stay competitive in this environment when, when the market pie is shrinking? Stay close to our client listen to our client, understand where their needs are, be proactive, work with you know, the large technology companies, work with the overall ecosystem of you know, technology uh, companies that are working with our clients. I am seeing clients every single day. I am getting their feedback. I understand where the priorities are. That's how we are driving you know, our, our performance. And to be honest, the result of that is that you know this quarter again was a highest performance in bookings it's the second quarter in a row that we are you know we've we've beaten our record uh, performance in bookings so that actually shows that there is real opportunities in the market what about and pricing, that we are winning theory. We, what about pricing, pricing stay in my mind nothing particular then we, I, I believe this is more or less you know what we've observed over the last years no change in pattern Thierry, can I ask you, because we're obviously heading into what could potentially be a relatively troubling next 12 to 18 months. We're starting to see, and you just spoken a little bit about it just before in terms of the enterprise spend slowing down more broadly, but there's also the, the I suppose, almost structural shift of AI and generative AI entering into the marketplace as well. So it's almost like a double whammy of sorts for a number of companies. How are you adjusting in order to deal with the rapid pace of AI and how it would affect your businesses while at the same time having to, you know, face the, the prospect that we could see a pretty significant downturn in the United States or in Europe? Well, we are, our companies are dealing with technologies and innovation every day for decades. And so, you know, generative AI is another of this technology that is, you know, disruptive and it is also creating opportunities and transforming organizations. We are dealing with this kind of disruptions every day. And so I'm, I'm very bullish on that front. I mean, we are definitely investing into, you know, uh, AI, as you know, we are, you know, making, you know, significant investment together with clients, with partners, but also for our own use. And I think this is driving, I, in my mind, this is only, only going to drive, you know, additional new opportunities for our clients as well. Does that impact your capex spending, I suppose, on that front? Because I would imagine it, it could potentially lead to a rapid shift in just how you operate, or is it just more about trying to integrate all of these new processes into your business? Because I've seen countless anecdotal examples of, you know, a business moves too soon in adopting some of these technologies, and then it costs them, I think in one instance, a billion dollars. So how, how are you managing that? Because that's going to be key, I would imagine, moving forward. What I've observed over the last 20 years is that every new technology is transforming the way people are working. It, it, you know, automation is, by definition, automizing processes that people were running before, freeing up time for people to do more added value services, creating new opportunities. And this is what we are seeing. It's a constant evolution of you know, the jobs in our industry, and that will, that will continue. That's how I'm seeing it.